Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, about half a year ago I reviewed the MT8206 um, graphical multimeter and this was really good and for about half a year this thing has been an absolute regular on my desk. Um, it's a pretty good multimeter and it does have some added functionality um, that turns it into a graphical multimeter bordering on a uh, oscilloscope. Um, and I really like it because of all the features that it has and um, I went through all its measuring and it was pretty much spot on. Now that was half a year ago. Now Moss Tool came out with the MD or MDS 8207 and this thing is such an improvement over that thing. Um, basically what they did is they took every aspect of what they had with this device and they rethought it, they made it better, they improved on the usability, um, but still um, both devices kind of have their niche where they're perfect. Uh, where the um, 8206 is a multimeter that you can put into a graphical mode, um, the 8207 is a standard multimeter when you turn it on, but you have two modes for digital oscilloscope and these two modes actually have their own input pin. Um, they're doing that because they can get better impedance and uh, better signal handling that way. And this just improves the whole thing um, incredibly. Also, um, this thing is uh, faster, it has more features, it has, uh, it has the same good values uh, for being spot on in measuring. It, it is just really nice, uh, but what they did is they improved the graphics. So if we put this in oscilloscope mode and we take this into oscilloscope mode, um, you can see that the display is uh, much finer. Uh, you have a lot more features. Um, you now have triggering modes, you have an auto mode, you have rising, falling and a single shot trigger. And um, this is something that this thing didn't have. And I really love it. I've been using it for over a week now and uh, th this thing is like really, really great. Um, and taking numbers between the two, so this thing had 200 kilo samples per second. This thing has 200 mega samples. The, the bandwidth of this was 20 kilohertz. This thing has 40 megahertz. Where the 40 megahertz is, um, is present, but you're not going to get most, most of the 40 megahertz through these uh, cheap cables. Um, so take that with a grain of salt. Um, there are different modes to capture data on this. This thing here can save data in the internal storage and you can retrieve it. What they also did is this thing now has a temperature sensor mode and it even comes with its own K-type probe, uh, which you can just put into the uh, voltage plug and it's going to give you very exact temperatures um, up to 250 um, uh, degrees Celsius. Celsius, yeah. Um, it has a uh, transistor tester. It has uh, measuring modes for peak to peak. Um, when you put it in oscilloscope mode, it will tell you the true RMS value for sine waves. Um, you can change the time base on this where you couldn't do it on that. Uh, you can manually change your um, triggering points on this one that you couldn't do here. And it is so much better while at the same time just being a really good um, handheld multimeter. What they didn't change was uh, both of them uh, use three AA batteries and I like that a lot more 
then I like the uh, 9 volt block batteries. Um, first of all, because um, these things do use more power and the 9 volt block batteries are just really hard to get. They're pretty expensive and they don't hold out as good. Uh, where in this thing you can just use three standard AA batteries and you can get some that have a better capacity and you'll profit from that a lot more. Um, this, is, this is just such a good package um, and I really love it because they, they made it, they made all of it better. Um, you just have function keys and each function key um, is described in the display. Uh, you can switch off the automatic um, the automatic modes for ranges. Uh, you can have hold, you can have um, lowest and highest peak, you can even measure differences. Um, and the whole thing is just so super simple. At the same time, um, this thing still has its value. The 8206 um, can be switched from standard mode um, into a graphical display mode, which you can't do on this thing here you have to basically take your measuring lead out and put it into the oscilloscope plug and on the other hand it was pretty useful on this thing you could have the voltage you can see if the voltage was current and if it was looking funny on the, on the uh, digital display you could switch to the analog display um, this thing doesn't have that so i think both of the devices uh, actually have um, have their meaning and both of the devices really have good value and uh, I've used this a lot and I've just started using this one and uh, the the oscilloscope mode on this is just so wonderful and both of them are pretty reasonably priced and uh, oh yeah the displays are good on both of them they're well they're not too dark uh, they do have good contrast and uh, even in, in pretty lit areas uh, they still work great so I really like it and for an Encore uh, with the MDS 8207 we get a really good user's manual uh, they put a lot of work into making this one better than the one for the MT8206 so in my opinion uh, both of them are worth their money. Uh, both of them are really good. Uh, both of them measure spot on. And if you need a carry along oscilloscope with uh, limited functionality, the, the screen is not very big, uh, but it does have good readouts, um, then, then this thing is a really good addition to uh, what this thing could do. Um, on the other hand, if you need something really simple where you just want to have your standard measuring and you want to be able to go into a second mode and have a graphical display of uh, what you're seeing in the or of what you're not seeing in the analog display, then uh, hey, this is also a pretty good device. So um, I really like the new 8207. I also like the 8206 and um, I think this is this is a proper step of taking something that is good and turning it into something that is even better uh, without making the the primary one that you had before obsolete so uh, yeah this is a really really good thing and I really love it thank you very much for watching and bye bye